Hello, and thank you so much for stopping by to visit my channel. I'm Sherelle from Plan With A Praise, and in today's video, I want to share with you the second part of a three-part series on a shopping haul. If you did not get a chance to see the first part of this series, I'll be sure to link it in the description box below. In today's video, my friends, I'm going to show you some phenomenal crafts that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Now, regrettably, I won't be able to tell you in today's video whether these crafts actually work or if they're even worth the dollar that I paid for them because I don't think I've ever purchased any crafts from the dollar store. But I also purchased some additional items that I know for sure without a shadow of a doubt are worth the dollar. So if you are interested in seeing my Dollar Tree haul, stand by. Here we go, my friends. These are all the things that I purchased at the dollar store very <laughs> recently. Check it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna push all of this to the side so we can review it one by one. Give me a second. Okay, so the first thing up that I purchased from the Craft a Square collection at the Dollar Tree are these crafting clamps. And this item is good for a paper crafter because it allows you to clamp two papers together to be still while you are working with them, especially if you're not ready to permanently adhere the pages together. So I purchased this and honestly, I don't really have a use for them yet, but I'm thinking that I will because I am a crazy craft lady and I definitely indulge in all types of crafting. Yes, including paper crafting. The next thing I purchased was this easy tear tape. It is a permanent double-sided adhesive tape. It's 25 yards and it's one quarter of an inch. So it's very, very thin. I got that. And iCraft brand, if I'm not mistaken, is also sold at Joann's. So this is a pretty good deal. Now I'm not pulling anything out in any specific order. I'm just showing you what I got, okay? Next thing I have, I purchased this beautiful pack of butterfly stickers. There is nine in the pack and just take a look. So I recently got myself involved in making cards. <laughs> and so I'm planning on using these to make a collection of beautiful cards. I also nabbed these nine piece stickers. It doesn't really say the name of this collection, but they are uh, 3D and you have flowers here a beautiful bird, another butterfly, some florals. So I got these and what I really like about this particular sticker, both of these, they have some uh, foil in them, which makes them look way more than what I paid for them. I actually got two packs of those. Here I have another pack of stickers along the same line of what is here. There's floral patterns, birds and butterflies, very, very pretty. Here is another pack of double-sided tape. This one is 33 feet, which is really good. And it says that the width is 0.3 inches. I don't know if there's a real difference between the iCraft brand and the Craft is Square. But um, I guess in due season, I will find out. But I will say that this double-sided tape is a little bit wider than the quarter of an inch. Here, I was able to buy some fastener dots. These are good if you are crafting something that has a closure. Like say, for example, you are DIYing a book cover and you want it to close. This fastener will allow you to do that. And there's 20 pairs in here, which is a good thing. I also went ahead and I nabbed some of these right on removable index tabs. I got these from Staples 
not this pack, but I had purchased in the past some of these from Staples and it's been so long, I will tell you that I don't know what I paid for them back in the day, but one thing I can tell you is they were not a dollar. So, um, and I do use these in my file cabinet. I use them when I'm creating my own dividers. I love these. Here, I was able to buy some pop dot tape. This tape is thick and so it allows you to pop your deco or your e ephemera off of a page when you are making cards or any type of crafting. If you want to give the 3D effect to anything that you're adding to a flat surface, that's what this pop dot tape allows you to do. And it has, I'm looking to see how much of it. This is two, okay, yeah. So this pack has two yards in each roll of tape. So six yards altogether for a dollar, not too shabby, especially if it adheres and does what it's supposed to do. All right, now I purchased this and honestly, I'm not even sure why, because I don't do any piercing just yet, but this is a two piece set of piercing and scoring tools. And I'm not gonna open them, but each tool has different size piercings at the top. And then the bottom here is what you use for scoring. Again, I'm not really sure why I purchased these, but I could do one of two things. I can return them or I can find a good use for them. And for a dollar, I'm gonna find a good use for them. Here I bought some more adhesive. This is a 528 piece pop dot adhesive, much like this roll. It does the same thing as this pop dot tape. The difference is this is already cut into squares where this is one continuing roll. And so you have to cut it yourself. Here I purchased these sticky notes. It is five in the pack and I do have a craft in mind for these and what I like about these sticky notes is there is four different colors in a pack and each pack has 50 sheets. So this is really, really cute and I cannot wait to use this in a craft. I also was able to get this three pack of notepads and it is five by eight inches and yes, I also do have a plan for this when it comes to crafting. This pack is all white, which it doesn't matter. I am totally okay with that. Wow, I literally double doubled on the double-sided tape. I guess I saw it and went a little bit crazy because I think most of this haul is double-sided tape. So these glue sticks here were a purchase from my daughter who was also in Dollar Tree with me. And when we got home, she surprised me and said, hey mom, these are for you. So I love my daughter. She is so considerate. I have another pack of these butterflies. I also bought some additional stickers. These two packs are the exact same, nine pieces to a pack. And these also have one, two, three, three, three 3D stickers inside. And I just think it is just a really, really pretty set of stickers. And I'm going to find myself doing some really good things with these stickers. The last thing I wanna show you in this haul is, guess what? <laughs> some more foam mounting tape. One thing I do wanna point out, and I'm not saying that this is the reason why I bought so much tape, but there is three different brands here of tape adhesive. We have the Jot, the Craft is Square, and then where's that other one? Here it is. And the iCraft. So again, I'm not saying that that's why I bought so much. I probably bought so much because I use so much. Never used these two brands, but you know, I'm going to find out how well they work. If they continue to do what they're supposed to do, I will continue to buy them. If they don't, you know what? It's a dollar. But this tape here I have used in the past. I purchased it at Joann's. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know of the different brands that you can find at your local Dollar Tree. iCraft, 
you know, Jot is definitely the signature brand at Dollar Tree. And then just recently, maybe the last year or so, they came up with their Crafters Square brand. So I just wanted to point that out. So guys, if you are a paper crafter, I pray that you did enjoy this haul. I will tell you, I was like a kid in a candy store making these purchases and going down the crafters aisle to seek out the things that, you know, were good for me. Um, I am anxious to really use all of these items that I purchased. I promise you that they are not in vain. I am a crazy <laughs> crafter and I just enjoy indulging in the different things that my hands see fit to do. Last but not least, I want to show you that I did purchase this Aileen's Tacky Glue from the dollar store. And I will tell you before I purchased this, I actually purchased a bigger one at Joann's. But I ended up buying this one for one because it's smaller, so I'll use it faster. For two, it's a dollar. And I haven't used this in so many years. I don't remember if I even like it or not, but for a dollar, I'm gonna find out. I do have one more haul, so I invite you and encourage you to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're clicking on that notification bell so that you're not missing any of my uploads. So for all my crafter friends that took time to watch this haul, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you were able to find everything at your local dollar store that you find useful. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and I invite you to become a part of the praise team. I would be glad to have you. We know that by clicking on the subscribe button here on YouTube, it is absolutely free. And I ask that you please click, click, click so that you could help out your content creator, Sherelle from Plan With A Praise. Thank you again for joining me. Peace and blessings.